Hey, what's going on, guys? The UK government needs to stop cutting their Royal Navy. Boris Johnson has yet to comment on it, but I think he'll be different than Theresa May in regards to this, and he'll help increase the size of the Royal Navy. Ex-Royal Navy admirals have criticized the um, UK government for cutting the Royal Navy, and rightfully so. Um, in 2019, there's only one aircraft carrier, and a lot of the people on the aircraft carrier are complaining about the lack of combat aircraft that's on that carrier. There's also only six destroyers in the entire Royal Navy, and of those six destroyers, four of them are in maintenance, so only two of them are operational. And there's only 13 frigates, and of the 13 frigates, about um, a little bit over half of them are unfit for duty. They're being repaired. So that is unacceptable, and the Royal Navy used to rule the seas, and yes, I'm American, and because the French Navy interfered with the Royal Navy and didn't allow the Royal Navy to rule the seas near my home country, my country was able to be independent and free from the British Empire. But that was a long time ago, okay? The Royal Navy ruling the English Channel was a huge reason why the Germans could not send a land force to invade uh, Britain during the Battle of Britain. The Royal Navy played key roles in the invasion of Normandy as well, um, getting the soldiers down to... Um, gold and a uh, sword beach and then in the korean war they played a vital role as well distracting the north koreans and the chinese by bombarding the east side the port of wonson instead and the it made the north koreans think the invasion was there instead of the uh, port of incheon and that was the turning point of the korean war so the royal navy needs to be increased again that's just unacceptable and props to the daily mail for reporting this anyways hope everybody's doing uh doing well take care god bless and bye-bye bye-bye